Hey, Steve Minetti here doing the Junkyard Crawl in Burnison, Massachusetts at Burnison Auto Wrecking. And this is kind of a cool rear axle. You know, sometimes the plainest things in random sight have a story to tell, and that's the case here. This is a Ford 8.8 inch rear axle. Uh, now, 8.8 isn't the width or anything like that. It's the size of the ring gear inside of the differential behind the cover. Now, these first launched in 1983 under mid-sized Ford pickup trucks, SUVs, Rangers, that kind of stuff. And of course, in 1986, they were found under five liter Mustangs, like uh, this thing right here, where their 8.8 inch ring gear was strong enough to handle the 302 fuel injected engine's torque. Uh, but again, these were very popular in trucks and these were available with a variety of ratios, everything from 226 all the way up to 514s. Yeah, believe it or not, in certain four wheel drive applications and off-road industrial pieces. Now this one here is a pickup truck piece. We see that because it has leaf spring mounts right here. The, the axles coming out of Mustangs uh, or Fairmonts or that type of vehicle, Fox cars, would have had ears up top for the four link rear suspension, the coil springs found under the Mustang. But aside from that, inside the 8.8, the guts are pretty much the same, including the track lock differential and the gear ratios. Now, some things we see on this one that are kind of interesting are the rear anti-roll bar right here. These links would go up to the frame of the pickup truck or the Ranger or whatever SUV vehicle or SUV this thing came out of. And also we see on this one, the, speed sensor, that thing right there. Now this one came out of a vehicle with anti-lock brakes. Now in terms of checking the wheel speed, you can do that with the tire, telling the computer what tire is spinning or slipping, but it's far more accurate to just use the ring gear inside the differential. So inside of here, there's a magnetic pickup that would read the speed of the ring gear and then tell the computer what to do or not do uh, with the anti-lock brakes. Another detail on this one is kind of cool is this thing right here, this hunk of metal, this thing hanging off, like what does that even do? What is that thing? Well, that's called a tuned mass damper. And that thing right there is the result of the Ford engineers discovering at the proving grounds or maybe on a computer simulation, some sort of a vibration or a hum or uh, some kind of a cyclic um, offense that they tuned out with this piece of metal that cancels the frequencies. Now, these sorts of things are not uncommon in vehicles. If you look at the back of a lot of automatic transmissions, you'll see this weird thing hanging off the back, a dumb weight. And even like on 67, eight and nine Firebird and Camaro convertibles, at each corner, there'll be a canister, like a cocktail shaker looking thing. And that's also a tuned mass damper to help cancel out vibrations. And yeah, even on trucks like this. Now this is a drum brake equipped one, uh, although disc brakes could be found on some of these things like in turbo um, Thunderbirds, that sort of thing. And on some trucks, disc brakes made their way in. Now this one being an 8.8 .8, has uh, a tag, this thing right right here, <laughs> which we could decipher to determine what gear ratio we have, 8.8, uh, but this thing is so, so crunchy because it's Massachusetts, Rustachusetts, that we can't really learn much more. But of course, we could take the cover off and count the teeth or see the ratio stamped into the edge of the ring gear. But that's the story of the Ford 8.8 inch rear axle arrived in 1983, taking the place of the Ford 9 inch. And although the 9 inch was a tough axle, the 8.8 is actually lighter. Now the 9 inch had a stamped steel housing, but the center section, that big cast iron center section actually weighed a little bit more than these 8.8s. So it's a Salisbury type axle. So if you ever see one of these in a junkyard, remember, if you don't see the ears on the top, you can't use it in your Fox Mustang. But if you do see the leaf spring mounts, it's fair game for use in anything pickup truck, hot rod with leaf springs in the back. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mags YouTube channel.